Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Educators can now deduct out-of-pocket expenses for COVID-19 protective items. IR 2021-28, February 4th, 2021, Washington. Eligible educators can deduct unreimbursed expenses for COVID-19 protective items to stop the spread of COVID-19 in the classroom. So obviously my interpretation of this would be that they're trying to get people back into the classroom. There's a risk of spread of COVID-19 within it. So they want to be taking pro protective measures to incentivize the instructors to be able to take those pro protective measures and possibly spend their own money to do so. They have the deduction related to it. Note that there has been a deduction on the books for a long time that's geared specifically towards the educators typically thinking about instructors that are in K through 12 type of education. So it's been on the books for kind of a long time. It's an above the line type of deduction. Therefore, you don't need to itemize in order to take the deduction. Unfortunately, it hasn't really been increased as time has passed. So there's a fairly low dollar limitation as to what the deduction is. So what we're looking at here is the question as to whether or not the COVID-19 type of expenses that educators might be expending would qualify for that deduction that's above the line deduction specifically for educators typically thinking K through 12 education. And they're saying, yes, you can include that. The problem, of course, is that if you don't increase the dollar amount, then in my opinion, most educators probably, I mean, I have a lot of educators in my family. It seems to me that they already spend uh, qualified deductions that are <laughs> above the, the threshold because it hasn't really increased for some time. But it is good that uh, when you're thinking about the types of things that you can expend for, for an educator that would qualify for this particular deduction, that we can then include these items which are related to the COVID-19 protection. So that would be COVID-19 protective items include but are not limited to. So these are items, again, that the instructors, if they're spending their own money on this, you might want to save the receipts so that you make sure that you qualify for that above the line uh, type of deduction that's going to be specific for these particular educators. So those things include face masks, uh, disinfective for use against COVID-19, hand soap, hand sanitizers, uh, disposable gloves, tape, paint, or chalk to guide social distancing, physical barriers, for example, clear uh, plexiglass, air purifiers and other items recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, to be used for the prevention of the spread of COVID-19. So we got the Revenue Procedure 2021-15, there's a link to that here, issued today, provides guidance related to educators and their expenses under the COVID-Related Tax Relief Act of 2020, which was enacted as part of the Consolidated Appropriations Act 2021. The new law clarifies that unreimbursed expenses paid or incurred after March 12, 2020 by eligible educators for protective items to stop the spread of COVID-19 qualify for the educator expense deduction. The educator expense deduction rules uh, permit eligible educators to deduct up to 250 of the qualifying expenses per year, 500 if married filing joint and both spouses are eligible educators, but not more than 250 each. So you basically, and there's where the kind of problem is here. So they already have the deduction on the books. It's been on there kind of for a long time. It's specifically uh, geared towards the educators. So I won't get into whether that's good or bad, but I mean, 250 when they first put it on the books was, or it was worth more than it is now because of the purchasing power of money. So in other words, the 250 these days doesn't go quite as far as it did, you know, when they put it on the books because of inflation. It is now. So in my experience, I would think that many educators already have qualified expenses that are hitting the cap of that uh, of that 250. But just just note that obviously, if you're an educator and you're spending money on uh, COVID pre prevention, when you're thinking about that deduction and whether you can take it, that above the line type of deduction, if you're an educator, you should be probably aware of it because again, it's been there kind of for a while. Then uh, you can you can make sure that you have the supporting documentation for those type of expenditures to qualify for it. So eligible educators include any individual who is a kindergarten through tw uh, grade 12 teacher, instructor, counselor, principal, or aide in the school for at least 900 hours during a school year. The deduction is for expenses paid or incurred during the tax year. Taxpayers claim the deduction on Form 1040, Form 1040-SR, or Form 1040-NR, attached Schedule 1, Form uh, 1040. So basically, it's an above-the-line deduction, meaning it's not going to be an itemized deduction. You don't need to itemize in order to take it. Those deductions are typically now included, those above-the-line deductions, we used to call them, 
Now they might be called Schedule 1 deductions, although they might change the whole tax thing back to what it was before. But in any case, they're now on the Schedule 1, which would then pull over to basically the first page of then the 1040. So for additional information regarding the deduction for certain expenses um, of an eligible educator, see the instructions for Form 1040 and Form 1040-SR. There's a link to that here or the instructions for Form 1040-NR. For more information about this, the COVID-Related Tax Relief Act of 2020 and other tax changes, visit irs.gov.